Future of Electric Vehicles USA conference took place on December 7th and 8th in San Jose, California. We were there and asked some of the presenters what they felt still needs to happen before electric vehicles can become the dominant type of transportation. The electric vehicle will become mainstream uh, automobile for the public is there are three things have to be uh, done. One is the safety of the vehicle itself, the mileage which currently is not that good enough for the people to have electric vehicle as a feasible vehicle for them. And the third thing is, is, is still the reliability of the vehicle itself. Well, I think uh, Professor Pietro Perlo put his finger right on it. Uh, they have to be born electric. Uh, people are shoehorning electrics into a Cessna aircraft. They're shoehorning, shoehorning electrics into an existing micro car. Uh, the leading people start from scratch. We have to have a, a major shift in the whole investment strategy of the major OEM. It's, uh, most of those investments are on like factories or 30 year time frames, investments in V8 engine truck technologies that have been built in the last five years uh, are, are designed for a 30 year investment by OEM. For most of these applications, it all kind of starts with the battery uh, to have uh, increased energy density and reduced cost of the battery. Uh, what needs to change, I guess, is uh, they, they need to get the hang of building these things and make it, it has to, people have to figure out, oh, I can do this. The manufacturer knows, it has to figure out, oh, this can happen, and it's not too expensive to do. The consumer has to say, hey, this is something that I, I wasn't even aware you could do. I, I thought that they were all golf carts or nerd mobiles and embarrassing to drive. I didn't realize I could have something that was faster than my neighbor's car. I think that uh, the more people learn about electric vehicles, the more enamored they become to them. And when we actually find, it's like the microwave oven. When they first came on the market, uh, people really didn't have a good grasp on it. And they thought, well, if you can't cook a turkey dinner with it, what's the point of having one in my kitchen? But then they realized one day, oh, wait a minute, I don't cook a lot of turkey dinners. I do it like maybe once or twice a year. So therefore, why throw the baby out with the bathwater? And people introduce the microwave oven into their kitchen. And do you know a single household that doesn't have one? Well, I think the main thing is you have to overcome the problem of limited range. And uh, whether it's a, a, a real problem or a perceived problem, creating range anxiety, people are just not going to buy electric vehicles as their mainstream vehicle until the uh, range is uh, less restrictive. One of the key complements to the rapidly advancing battery technology is the rapidly advancing structural technology. That is, the vehicles are going to be able to be about half as heavy, half as much weight to move around as the previous vehicles we've known of. And once you reduce the weight and you reduce the power requirement, then suddenly even modest battery technology becomes absolutely sufficient. Of course, the other topic we just heard about is the distribution of the recharge points, making those readily accessible wherever you go. Well, there, there are basically two things that have to happen for electric vehicles to become the accept, accepted norm of transportation. The most important one is the price of gasoline has to go over $5. Number two, which is really number one, is you have to drive an electric car. If you ever drive an electric car, you'll feel empowered. It's quiet. It just makes you feel good.